All right, now that you got some parts drawn, some 3D models drawn, we're going to have to start making dimension drawings of these things. To do this, we're going to go ahead back. We're going to go ahead and click open. Go to drawing or change this here. We're going to change it to DWT. Go to the AutoCAD file. Click that. All right, so we want to change some things in here. Now, mine's already set, so I'm just going to show you what to change. So you'll go to uh, make sure 3D modeling is set. Go across to annotate right here and come down to that little arrow so we can open up the manager. So you're going to start with this right here, and you're going to click on new right and when you click on new you're gonna put in your name or whatever your name is alright so in that case it'll come up to there um, this is how you would modify whatever you want to do we'll start with the lines and symbols right make sure that all of those are set to by layer you don't want by block at all don't do that you want it to be by layer all right you change those your baseline dimension should be 0.38 um, and then your extension uh, beyond the dim, dim lines right here should be 0.18 and your offset origin should be 0.18 also. So your extension lines are, uh, right here, that little distance that goes on off beyond there is 0.18 and then your offset from the origin. So that distance right there and this distance right here are the same. We're setting those to be the same. So this is your extension line. That's the actual dimension line. All right, so then um, we'll go over to arrows, and we want to make sure you got clothes filled on all of those, and your arrow size should be 0.12. Your mark, you do a center mark that's 0 0.09. Your break size should be 0.125. Um, we'll leave the rest of those the same. Your text, go ahead and make sure that's standard. Change this right here from by layer or from by box to by layer. We're not going to worry about a fill color because it'll block everything in. We don't want to see it. And your text height is around 0.12 that'll be big enough to be able to see it the rest of here is these are your text placement is centered centered uh, left to right is the direction you want to be able to see and you want those to be horizontal oh and your offset distance from the dim lines 0 0.09 okay go to fit um, these leave these right here that one and that one uh, the way it's where they should be go ahead and check Click, uh, check the annotative part there and you want to place the text manually when you do that your primary units if we were in architecture you would change this but you want your want this to be decimal and you want this precision to only be two decimal places you could select a different one and say three but you want it to be two um, so that's good enough your scale factor you want them to always be one to one for now that'll help you with your when you're doing the uh, the annotative dimensioning anyway and we do not want to suppress any zeros because of the way we do things it's just a standard if you were setting alternate units you would check check this and we would put in something like metric or those kinds of things and right now it's set for metric but we don't need it and we're not worried about tolerances go ahead and click OK when you click OK you should have your name there and you should have that and you want to set that to your current layer all right, so that becomes our current lay layer and close. Now we're in the DWT file, so you have to make sure that you close that. You want to save it, yes, All right? And then what we're going to do is this: is we're going to start. Oh, click open. We're going to change this to DWG. Go to wherever you save all your drawings and stuff like that at. So let's see where I have mine. Um, oops, mine is going to be in my documents classes TDI I want to get to where my drawings are and that's right there and so that's the same drawing yeah that's fine and then we're just gonna close it anyway okay okay um, all right so at this point you can go ahead and go back to now we'll go back to open oops wait a minute let's do this yeah we want to do that click open we're gonna open the drawing we already have and what you're gonna to need to do is this is you're going to create a new drawing then using that ACAD file should now have your correct dimensions style on there and you're gonna come over here and you're gonna click this and this is where you hit um, right click and you can copy um, copy that selection no we don't want to do that because uh, what we want to do is oh yeah we'll click click that copy so it's control C and copy that right there so now we'll go back over to this one and you'll do right click and you go to clipboard and paste it and put that in somewhere right about here All right. double click your mouse wheel now we'll go back to this drawing we're gonna close it alright 
and then this in this case we're going to go and save as we'll save it right over top of it and yes you want to replace it so now we have a new one here we're ready to start doing this with our layout click on that all right and we're ready to start laying this stuff out so click layout we want to go to base view click base from model space and we'll start placing these views in the way we want them to be it looks like it's taken it a second to think its way through it and that's okay Pierce does the same when I select this, I'm going to put this one here, and I'm going to go ahead and click right-click and click Enter so I can see what that is. So that's my side view there. So then I'll click Project it and Project from this view. I'll project a top view, a right side view, and I'll put an isometric view up here. Right-click and Enter. And we click on this one. I'm going to double-click this one because... Oops. No, I'm sorry. You just single-click it and click right there. We're going to change the scale down to about half scale so we'll change that so it's smaller and get that kind of up out of the way All right, so now we're ready to start dimensioning now when you start dimensioning features uh... well i'll cover that in a minute in a, in a different view 